This is a solid tungsten cube. Tungsten is one of the world's most dense metals. It has a density very similar to that of gold. And these are 3D printed cubes. 3D printers don't print solid objects. Computer programs generate internal structures to give the object strength. With the click of a button, you could change the type of internal structure. But which internal structure is the strongest? In this video, we'll find out. In this experiment, we'll be testing four different infills. And to keep things fair, it's important to note that the density of these cubes are all exactly the same. Each one uses the same amount of material and each one weighs 200 grams. Up first, we have the cubic infill. This infill takes a cross section of diagonal cubes and essentially makes a bunch of triangles. This internal structure did a pretty good job of stopping the falling tungsten cube. Next, we have my favorite 3D printing infill, gyroid. This infill creates a really cool wavy pattern. Besides the fact that my table is getting absolutely destroyed, it looks like the gyroid infill did a pretty good job also of stopping the tungsten cube. However, it's also important to note that the table probably did absorb some of the energy. Next, we have kind of a weird one. It's called 3D Cross. I'm not really sure how to describe this one. And lastly, we have lines infill. This infill basically makes a crisscrossing line pattern. This one was by far the weakest. Let's compare the results. Which internal structure do you think did the best at stopping the tungsten cube? I personally think gyroid did the best job despite the table breaking during that test. However, it's probably a close call between gyroid and cubic. The 3D cross infill didn't do that great, and the lines infill did absolutely horrible. This is because these lines actually aren't bonded to each other. It makes it very brittle and weak. I hope you enjoyed this experiment as much as I did. And on this channel, I do a bunch of experiments, mostly involving 3D printing, but occasionally I'll throw in a different project that I think you'll find very interesting or fun. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching, and I wish you the best in all of your projects and future endeavors.